next we consider the uh, low frequency response of the BJT circuit. Okay, for this course, uh, for the low frequency and high frequency response, we will consider we will consider uh, only common emitter configuration. Okay. So uh, as mentioned in the previous uh, video, at low frequency, the coupling capacitor and the bypass capacitor will affect the performance of the uh, the amplifier because it will affect the circuit impedance. So the coupling capacitor, in, for example, in this uh, common emitter configuration circuit, uh, we have a coupling input CS, we have, we have the coupling at the output CC, and then we have the bypass capacitor CE. So when we do when we uh, draw the equivalent circuit at low and uh, at low circuit. Uh, equivalent circuit at low frequency response. So what will happen is the CS, CE and CC appear in the equivalent circuit because the capacitor is no longer considered as short circuit. Okay. So uh, and then um, for this uh, low frequency analysis, uh, one of the main objective for this analysis is to uh, determine the low cutoff frequency. So how we can determine the local of frequency is by uh, consider the time constant. So the time constant of the RC circuit. So I think you have learned uh, the RC circuit in your uh, circuit analysis. So the time constant is tau equal to RC and then this is equal to 2 pi F. So FC. So this is uh, F is the cut off frequency. So the F C is equal to uh, oh, this is uh, let me uh, correct this one. This is not uh, two pi F C. So this is actually a one over two pi F C. Okay. Let me correct this one. So this is one over two pi F C. So and then you have the FC is equal to 1 over 2 pi RC. So this is how you uh, how we can uh, estimate how we can predict the cut off frequency at the low at, at low and high frequency region. So we have here uh, three three capacitor. So the, the value of capacitor here is from the these three CS, CC and CE capacitors. And then the R value here is depend on will be the impedance of the this circuit. So the cut off frequency. So how we how we uh, do the analysis is we need uh, we consider uh, the calculation for one capacitor each. So for example. So actually we have three capacitor, we have the C, C uh, input coupling and we have the output coupling and we have the bypass. So the first uh, case or the first step is we only consider the, the case uh, where only input, capac input capacitor appear. So only input capacitor, CS. So in this case, uh, if we use the uh, this cut off frequency uh, F equal to 1 over 2 pi RC. So in this case, the capacitor value is only CS. But the R value is the total uh, impedance or resistance of the amplifier. So this is RS plus the input impedance. So this is the impedance seen from the this CS point. Okay. So this is input impedance. So we will have the, the we can have the cut off frequency due to the CS only. Okay. For this common emitter configuration, the input impedance is defined by this R1 parallel with R2 parallel with R5. Okay. Next, we consider uh, the case uh, where only the output coupling appear in the circuit. So uh, the input coupling as well as the bypass coupling is uh, is considered as the short circuit. So in this case, the value of the capacitor is only CC because this is CC. 
uh, but the uh, value of total resistance is RL because it's at the output part output part this is RL plus Z out so Z out is equal to RC so we have the another kind of frequency okay so and then the last one is when we consider only the bypass capacitor here so here uh, you can see there is no input coupling no output coupling only bypass capacitor CC CE so uh, for the FLE the cap the value of the capacitor is CE okay how about the value of total resistor total resistance is the impedance or resistance seen from this point so seen from this CE point so when you see from this point you will uh, you will see RE and then parallel with what we call it as a ZE so uh, this the REQ is equal to RE parallel with ZE okay. So and then the, this detail of calculation of ZE is actually being uh, we have discussed this in previous week. So please refer to the previous week slide. So uh, the value of ZE will depend on whether you have the RS or whether you have the R1, R2, or we have if you have the only RB. So this is will really, be really, uh, slightly different. So in this case the R so the ZE is equal to R pi plus this is RTH. So RTH is actually the RS parallel with RBB. So again the ZE, the calculation of ZE, uh, I do not recommend you to use this to use the to memorize the equation to calculate the ZE. So because the ZE will uh, will uh, is different depend on the circuit depend on the circuit whether the circuit have the rs or not okay so uh after we done the analysis so we'll have three we'll have three capacity uh, cut off frequency value so we have fl uh, the input let's say i put is the input coupling fli and we have the fl for the output and then we also have the FL due to the bypass capacitor. So we have three uh, cut-off value, low cut-off value, low cut-off uh, frequency value due to the specific capacitor. Okay. So this is coupling, input. This is a uh, coupling output, and then this is a coupling. Sorry, this is a bypass. So yeah, bypass. Good. Okay. So uh, in the board plot or in the actual uh, amplifier, that we will only have one value of low cut off frequency. So uh, to estimate, to do the estimation of the low cut off frequency, so what we we'll do is we choose between these three uh, calculated cut off frequency. We will choose the highest. So we'll choose the highest value. So we choose the highest value become the FL, the actual low cut off frequency. So why we choose the highest? Because the highest will become the highest frequency value is the value that is the closest to the mid band. If you uh if we consider the plot of the book, uh we consider the book plot. So we have the mid band is the uh, the frequency range at the moderate value. So uh, from the mid band towards the this is frequency from the mid band okay towards the low frequency. So it will uh, it will meet the highest frequency. So let's say we have here this is FLB. This is FLI, this is FLO. So the one that is closest to the mid band is FLB. So it will first affect the gain of the BJT. So it will start to uh, decrease or start to uh, 
start to decrease or start to reduce the gain of the PJT. Okay. So this is the actual uh, cut-off frequency. So let's say the let's see the example. So let's say this is the cut, uh, uh, common emitter with the bypass capacitor. So we have here the CS, CC, and CE is given, and then GM is also given is 50 milli siemens with the VA is equal to infinity. So this case is R naught is infinity. So uh, the R naught will not appear in the equivalent circuit. Okay, so uh, the equivalent circuit at the low cut-off frequency, so the low frequency, low, low frequency region, is uh, will become like this. So uh, we have here the CS, CC, and CE appear in this in the equivalent circuit. Okay, so the next thing is if you want to calculate the low cut-off frequency, you need to consider the cut-off frequency due to the CS. And then you have the cutoff frequency due to the CC. Uh, the, the third one is cutoff frequency due to the CE. Okay, this is the calculation for the cutoff frequency due to the CS. So when we consider uh, only CS, we will bypass the CE, so the RE will not appear, and then this CC will uh, replace with the short circuit. So the calculation is uh, F equal to 1 over 2 pi RC, the C is equal to CS, which is 4 microfarad for the resistance, the total resistance is RS plus RI, ZI. So ZI is uh, R1 parallel with R2 parallel with R5. Okay, remember that since uh, for this case, we consider the CE to uh, behave as the short circuit, so R, there is no RE. So from this calculation, the ZI is equal to 4411 ohm and then the uh, total, the uh, calculated cutoff frequency due to the CS is equal to 4.35 hertz. Okay. So next we consider only the output at the output port. At the output port, uh, the total resistance is Z out plus RL and then the capacitor is only CC so we'll have 2 Hz and then the last one is when we consider only the bypass capacitor so at the bypass capacitor uh, the calculation for cutoff frequency the value for CE uh, capacitor we use the CE value and then for the equivalent circuit, after the equivalent resistor, the total resistor in the uh, of frequency equation, the REQ, is defined by the RE parallel with ZE. So here the ZE, how we can calculate the ZE? The ZE is seen from the emitter port, so the ZE we will see the RE and then we will see the RS parallel with RB. So R, R pi plus RS parallel with RB over beta plus 1. Okay. So again, the explanation, uh, I will not go uh, into the detail on the explanation for the ZE calculation. You need to uh, do some revision on the previous week. How we calculate the ZE. Okay, when we do the calculation, we will get the local of frequency as 99.02 Hz. So now we have three cut off value. So we have three low cut off uh, cut off value, cut off frequency. So the first uh, the input is 7.35, the output coupling to Hz, and then the bypass is 99.02 Hz. So which one will be uh, estimated as the low actual low cut off frequency is the one with the highest value which is a FLE. So the the low cut off frequency is 99.02.